Okay. So we're going to talk about different networking service patterns. And that's what this series is going to be about. But this video is specifically going to focus on singletons and um, and how they're used for networking services and why. You know, earlier we talked about um, um, solid principles, um, a single responsibility principle. We talked about open close principle. We talked about LISCOB substitution principle, interface segregation principle, and dependency inversion. Um, so one thing that we have to understand is, especially with regard to dependency inversion principle, you know, um, there's a decoupling of, you know, um, of inter of usually interdependent functionality, right? And we saw that in our last our last project where we had the shopping cart and we had our uh, payment processing. And we instead of creating uh, passing an instance of one object to another, you know, directly, we used. Um, we implemented a, a protocol. And um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna decouple, we're gonna be decoupling a lot of the functionality in this singleton. And now if you aren't familiar with what I'm talking about, you need to go back and watch the video prior to this one, because this is building on top of that. So, but this is a singleton, plus we're gonna implement protocols and we're gonna do this in a way that um a lot of our functionality is decoupled but right now let's just talk about what a singleton is in the context of a networking service so <clears throat> what is a singleton okay in software engineering a singleton is a design pattern that restricts the instantiation of a class to a single instance and provides a global point of access to that instance. In the context of a networking service, a singleton can be useful to ensure that only one instance of the networking service object is created and is available throughout the lifetime of an application. This can help manage network connections, preventing issues that may arise from having multiple instances of the same network service. For example, if you have a mobile application that needs to make a network request, give me, you may want to use a singleton to ensure that there's only one instance of that network service that handles all the requests. This can help in managing the connection pool, caching data, and ensuring that the networking service behaves consistently across the application. Okay. Now, the pros of a singleton pattern in a networking service. Um, of course, there's ease of use. A singleton makes it easy to access the networking service from anywhere in your app. You don't have to worry about passing instances of the service around, creating new instances each time you need to make a network request. Just access that existing um that uh, I guess that existing instance um consistency because there's only one instance of the service you can ensure that all network network requests are made using the same configuration and settings this can help avoid inconsistencies or unexpected behavior memory efficiency a singleton can help reduce memory usage by ensuring that only one instance of the service is created and shared across the app. This can be especially important if the networking service creates a lot, a lot of objects or consumes a lot of memory. Thread safety. Using a singleton can help ensure thread safety as all requests are made using the same instance of the service. This can help avoid race conditions or other issues that can rise when multiple threads access 
shared resources. And simplicity. Using a singleton can simplify your code as you don't have to worry about managing multiple instances of the service or passing them around. This can make your code easier to understand and maintain. Okay. The cons. Dependency injection. Using a singleton can make it more difficult to use dependency injection to inject networking service into other parts of your application. This can make it harder to test your application and can lead to a more tightly coupled code base. Global state, singletons introduce global state to your application. We can make it, make it more difficult to reason about the behavior of your application. This can also make it hard to isolate issues and debug problems when they arise. Concurrency. Singletons can introduce issues with concurrency, particularly when multiple threads are accessing the same shared resource. This can lead to race conditions, deadlocks, and other concurrency-related issues. Testability. Using a singleton can make it more difficult to write unit tests for your application. You may need to create mock objects or use other techniques to isolate the networking service from the rest of your application, which can add complexity and make your tests more difficult to maintain. And of course, when we, we're we gonna revisit um, unit testing later on so that you can really understand what they're talking about. Um, flexibility, using a singleton can make it more difficult to switch between different networking libraries or APIs. If your application relies heavily on a singleton, you may need to rewrite large portions of your code if you decide to switch to a different networking service provider. And singletons can be seen as code smell and can indicate that your application design may be suboptimal. Okay, overuse of singletons can make it make your code less modular and harder to maintain over time. Okay, and let's talk about one other thing. <clears throat> In the use, when we're making these networking service, um, we're gonna have a networking service provider, okay? The purpose of a networking service provider is to provide an abstraction layer between your application and the underlying network APIs or libraries. A networking service provider can encapsulate the details of the networking implementation, such as the networking configuration, error handling, low level details. This can help to simplify the networking code in your application and make it more maintainable. Networking service provider can also provide a set of high level APIs or methods that your application can use to interact with the network, these methods can be designed to be easy to use and understand with clear and consistent interfaces, error handling, response part and response parsing. In addition, a networking service provider can also handle issues such as caching, authentication, and other common networking concerns. This can help further simplify the networking code in your application and make it more reliable and secure. By using a networking service provider, your application can benefit from a higher level of abstraction and modularity, making it easier to maintain and update over time. It can also make it easier to switch between different networking libraries, APIs, or switch to a different networking service provider altogether without having to change a lot of code throughout your application. And one more thing, which I'm not saying, which I haven't said here. Your networking service provider um, allows you to instantiate, you know, your networking service, but you're not doing it inside of your view and you're not doing it in your view model, okay? Your network, networking service provider does it you know, and I'll show you where, but 
is, is definitely more of a separation of concerns. But so I'm just touching on all this. And of course, if you go back and see some other videos in UI kits, I implemented a networking service provider. Um, in a prior video, but now we're talking Swift UI and we're doing a little bit different. I'm going to implement a networking service provider here in Swift UI. And our networking service is going to be a singleton. And I'm going to take you step by step. And again, we're going to have our, our functionality decoupled, right? We're going to and it's abstract it using um, a, a proper protocol and everything else. I'm going to show you how to do it. The, the thing we're missing, though, is we're not conforming to MVVM design pattern. We're going to get to that later. But right now, what I want you to just what I want you to understand is singletons and um, singletons, networking service, um, decoupling of functionality, and a networking service provider. Okay. Then we'll get to MVVM eventually, and then we'll get to um, using Combine and reactive programming. So um, on to the next.